January the 7th, 2014. This is Tropical Weather Bulletin number 73. And this is the World Tropic situation right now. We currently have one significant storm active, Tropical Cyclone Ian, which is located in between Tonga and Fiji right now in the South Pacific. The remnants of Bejiza are still going um, towards the southwest as it moves beyond South Africa. And we currently have two other Invest active right now. Invest 92S, which could form in the next few days in the southern Indian Ocean. Likewise for Invest 90W as well, which has formed in the Western Pacific, not too far from Micronesia, over those islands as a matter of fact. And you can see it there towards the centre of that image, um, just to look towards the uh, west of Pompeii Island, possibly over the Chuk region, um, if my geography serves me correctly. The Eastern Pacific Ocean is looking quiet, as you'd expect for this time of year, a large mass of cloud towards the left-hand side there, channeling its way into central and northern parts of California. But apart from that, not too much going on in this region at all. Moving on now to the South Pacific, you can see Ian, of course, in between Fiji and Tonga there on the right-hand side of your image. Not over any of those islands right now, in between the two, um, but certainly Tonga in, in more than Fiji is feeling the, effect, the effects of the storm um, and will be doing so for the next few days. More on that in a moment. The Indian Ocean has Invest 92S, you can see on the right-hand side of your image there, just to the south of Indonesia um, and could develop into our next storm. I believe the models may be hinting on that one. Um, so we'll, we'll find out evidently over the next few days. Not looking too bad right now. Looking at the sea surface temperatures, this is the current situation. You can see warm waters towards the left hand side and pretty much on the very far left of the image is where the current storm Ian is right now. Uh, those little islands are Tonga, the uh, right hand side of Fiji and Samoan islands as well towards the north of that. Uh, but sea surface temperatures where the storm is right now around 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. Same too for the other side of Fiji, near the equatorial waters, the tropical regions of course, the northern coasts of Australia, very warm waters right now, 30 degrees plus. And out over the Indian Ocean where that invest is, Invest 92S, waters are around 28, maybe 29 degrees Celsius, certainly warm waters all across the board. The Indian Ocean itself is shown here, uh, the warmest waters towards the centre part of the ocean near Diego Garcia where we have temperatures around 30 degrees Celsius. Um, same too, just off the western coast of Madagascar which we had an invest there a day ago but did not um, take advantage or develop. So let's take a look at the only active storm right now then, Tropical Cyclone Ian located in between Fiji and Tonga with wind speeds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of 996 millibars, a minimal tropical storm. Its position is 18.9 degrees south, 176.0 degrees west, just east of the international dateline. Um, and the storm is expected to move slowly towards the northwest initially, but then stall and then move towards the southeast eventually. Um, it has been stalling for quite a while over the past 24 hours or so, and that is expected over the next 24 to 48 hours before the storm begins to move towards the southeast. And once it gets going, it will probably gather a little bit of speed as it moves towards the southeast, um, passing through the southern part of Tonga possibly as a significant cyclone and maybe even approaching hurricane intensity. Strong wind warnings currently in effect for northern Tonga and you can see the uh, cyclone is illustrated here, the track where it's expected to go over the next few days over the southern part of Tonga so we could see some more warnings going into effect for those southern islands as it moves out to sea eventually uh, towards the end of that five day period. So this is the shear tendency maps at the moment, um, showing quite a um, quite a mix of shear across the Indian Ocean right now. Low amounts towards the centre of the ocean, where the warmest sea surface temperatures are. Incidentally, where that invest is right now, 92 um, S. It's borderline right now. Uh, high shear towards the north, low shear towards the south. It all depends on where exactly it goes. Um, if it moves quickly towards the west, perhaps it could survive and enter the central Indian Ocean where it could attain some intensity. Um, the tropical cyclone symbol represents Ian in the southern Pacific on this image. And you can see low shear all around where the storm is at the moment, highlighted by those blue colours, um, which denotes very low shear levels and certainly not looking too bad. The, the storm's main issue really will be how it's stalling right now over the next few days, which will mean that sea surface temperatures will probably drop beneath the storm and it will struggle a little bit to intensify. But gradual intensification is on the cards, but we, won't be, we probably won't be seeing anything rapid. 
the Western Pacific right now, low shear amounts towards the very southern uh, part of the ocean where that invest is right now, as, as a matter of fact, invest 90W under around 10 to 20 knots of shear at the maximum um, and low shear near the Philippines where the storms are expected to go over the next few days. We could be looking at possibly a landfall there, um, which isn't very good after two or three months since Haiyan. Um, and this is the current water vapor imagery in the western pacific ocean as well you can see the moisture towards the south there it represents invest 90w uh, towards the right hand side not too much of it right now but it could change over the next few days we also have a lot of uh, thunderstorm activity going on over the southern philippines over the island of mindanao right now but nothing that looks like it's going to develop over the next few days at least not yet so this is Cyclone Ian, the latest satellite imagery animated over the past few hours. You can see how it's barely moved at all over the past few hours. The centre of circulation is perhaps partially exposed a little bit, um, as you saw on the um, RGB imagery just before. This is the uh, moisture imagery. You can see below lots of dry air just to the south of the storm, which is pushing the central core um, just a little bit north of the um, of the center of the storm so it's struggling to get its act together at the moment but it probably will do that fairly slowly over the next few days and begin to intensify possibly reaching 65 70 miles per hour as it moves towards the southeast after two or three days of stalling and affect the islands of Tonga once more this is the models then the southwest Indian Ocean first of all you can see in a day or two or maybe a bit longer than that a storm forming uh, just west of Madagascar between Mozambique and Madagascar moving towards the southeast passing the southwestern coast of Madagascar and then moving out to sea um, towards a similar position where Bejiza is right now. The South Pacific you can see on the center right of the image Ian and it's m expected to move towards the northwest. This model in particular takes it a bit closer to Fiji and Fiji could see some heavy rain and possibly some strong winds on the easternmost islands and then the storm will move towards the southeast eventually passing Tonga as a significant cyclone possibly. The North Indian and the Western Pacific Ocean you can see in the Western Pacific in particular a low pressure system on its way moving towards the west northwest and then passing through the Philippines if not a tropical cyclone then certainly a potent tropical disturbance passing through delivering lots of rain. Looking at the overall predictor season scores right now for January the 7th, obviously it's very early days, so these scores mean very little, if anything. In first place is Mudkip with 52 points, Zach in second with 62, and John in third with 88. You can submit your own predictor season submission on the website, force13.com forward slash interactive. .html is the main page for all the interactive goings on, and then you can click through to the 2014 predictor season competition, and the rest should be fairly clear as you submit your submission for this year's storms in the North Indian Ocean and the um, all the other Northern Hemisphere regions, Western Pacific, Eastern Pacific, and of course the Atlantic. Um, submit your totals and see how well you do by the end of the year. So on this day, January the 7th in 1995, Tropical Depression 1W crossed the international dateline into the Western Pacific, and in 1999, four years later, Tropical Storm Hilda dissipated again in the Western Pacific in the South China Sea. Don't forget the On This Day feature currently covers all storm events since 1965 in the Atlantic, 1975 in the Eastern Pacific, 89 in the Western Pacific, and since 2005 in the North Indian Ocean. Uh, there aren't many Southern Hemisphere events covered in the database yet, but we are expanding and we'll hope to have that soon. You can track any storm that forms, or indeed any that are currently existing, Ian included, uh, uh, on the website force13.com forward slash stormtracking.html. That includes invests and post-tropical cyclones too. Um, so we're covering everything on there, anything that could pose a, a risk to any land areas over the next few days. Um, and you can also follow us on our social mediums, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to search Force 13 on either of those, whichever one you're on, or all three if you, if you wish. And um, <coughs> we appreciate any support that you can offer. Um, that would include subscribing, following, liking, anything else that you can think of. If you want to contact me directly with a question or a comment or anything, uh, you can send a message directly through the YouTube PM system, private message system, or through the website's contact form at force13.com. Um, so, this is what's going on in the Southern Hemisphere right now. We've gone through five named storms so far. Alicia, Bruce, Christine, Amara, Bejiza and Ian, which is a name from Nadi in, uh, in Fiji. So far the weakest storm we've seen in the Southern Hemisphere this year, this uh, season, but it will likely overtake Alicia over the next few days. If you have any questions that you'd like to um, 
ask for a question and answer feature which will be featured at the end of every Saturday's Tropical Weather Bulletin. Um, feel free to send them in uh, by any of the mediums that I just um, spoke about before and I'll take them in and I will answer them if you have anything to ask. Uh, but until the next bulletin, which will follow tomorrow, that will be the 8th of January 2014, that's Wednesday morning at around 1am UTC. That will be about 9, 8, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And um, for the other side of the world, around midday, early afternoon in the South Pacific. That's all for now.